Hi, in this video, we are going to develop a script program for a circuit board that we have uh, used in the previous few tutorials. And the board has, again, four JTAG devices. Uh, it has some SRAM uh, LEDs, uh, some switches, and is connected through a ribbon cable to a JTAG port on a USB uh, controller, dual port controller. To get started, we will go to the application button and open an existing project that we uh, recently did. And just to make sure that's still working okay. We'll just click all pins to run the test. And that runs and passes. So uh, to uh, continue, we could just put uh, a script program into the scripts subdirectory and open the scripts tab here. But uh, another way to do this that in the long run might be a little easier is to go to the application button click Add Script Program, and set the name of the program. In this case, it's going to be setleds.txt. It's a, let me make that lowercase, .txt. It's a text uh, file. And what we can do is copy settings from an existing test so this will save us the uh, effort of redefining power and ground pins, um, guards, and that type of thing. So what we'll, we're going to use this folder in this test. Click OK. And that will have been done. We should check our controller, make sure uh, it's OK. So JTAG chain A is assigned to A. There is no chain B, so we're going to put none here for the uh, controller adapter, and then we're going to save it. Another thing we can do is we can retest the tap, and this is a tap test which has been explained before, but basically, so the ta test access port is good, so the boundary scan is working uh, for this application. And we can go ahead and do the script. So, but rather than write the script in manually, what I'm going to do is just drag and drop uh, and paste it. So, okay, I have. I didn't mean drag and drop. We're just going to paste it. So we're going to paste our test. So this is it, and I I will explain. Uh, the steps in, in this test uh, script. Basically, the concept of the script is we, we can define variables, uh, uh, pins, and assign them to variables, put pins in pin groups, manipulate them, just like we do with a variable. Um, and we can use uh, function calls. Uh, there are flow control statements like for and while loops and that type of thing. So... This is just a very simple program that's going to manipulate the LEDs and uh, make them turn on in some sequence. So, first of all, we can declare some uh, variables, in this case, int x. Uh, pins, like we're going to have a pin called LED74, and it's going to be connected to this net on the board because, you know, we, we've checked it out and we... We know that uh, we have a connection on LED on this net. The net name helps us too. Uh, and then there's another pin, an LED uh, connected to this pin. So we want to connect, uh, make the assignment directly to a JTAG pin. And then some more LEDs, there are a total of four that we're using and they're connected to these nets. And then we're going to define a pin group. We just, uh, to do that, we just, make a new name, LEDs, and put the four LED 
uh, pins in the group. And then we start the main program. That's uh, just that statement. Uh, then the, we can make a watch list of things that we want to watch. Uh, we can do it easily. For example, just double click on a variable. And as the program runs or single steps, you'll be able to monitor particular uh, pins or pin groups. Uh, maybe LEDs would be a good one to watch. And then there are some built-in functions like drive low. So this will drive the whole pin group, uh, the values on all those pins low uh, and drive high. So we can list the pins individually or do it by pin group, individual pins. Again, some more of that. Uh, these, this is drive high, drive low. DZ is uh, high impedance, so in this case we're driving all of these pins to a high impedance, so they are not driving. And here we have a for loop. So for x equals 0, less than or equal to 45, we're going to assign the value of x to LEDs and drive the group. So and then we're going to make a say statement. This is like a message. It'll output the value of the LEDs so you know what's uh, going on. And then there's a test group. We can, we can drive and then we can also test the value of the LEDs. And then uh, that will show what the LEDs value is. Um, in this case, these pins are input output so they can capture the values that they're that are being driven and then finally we we come down to uh, tri-state all of the uh, pins again and uh, so that's basically the test we can uh, run that test and when we do the values are messages are shown the values on the LEDs are shown the uh, another thing that we can do for debug, if you wanted to do some debug, you can select a uh, an instruction, set a breakpoint, and that will tint the uh, the line yellow. And then let's say we want to put another breakpoint in down here, do the same thing, and then when we run the test. It will run up to the first breakpoint, and then we can step through. And as we step, we can see the values here changing. So we can do we can a single step through and and. and uh, help debug and find out exactly what's going on within the program. And then once we once we're finished uh, with the single step operations, you can just click run and it will run and take us to the next breakpoint. Also, uh, we put a an SRAM test in in the uh, folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the SRAM test. This is a, a lot more involved. You can see there are more loops. There are function calls to write data, read data, read switches, all kinds of things. So let's run that and see what happens. That's running through the test. So it, it tested the data bus, the address bus, uh, in other parts of the memory. So it runs pretty quickly. Uh, we didn't set it at the fastest possible speed, but uh, it's not difficult to set up a test and r run, through, uh, run through it in, uh, in short order. Uh, these tests can be put in a test suite. These tests are developed 
in a section called the test suite creator, they can be moved in simply by using the uh, right click and getting that menu. They can be put in the runner. So you can designate any number of programs that you or tests that you want, put them in the runner. So if you just want to run tests, then you can just click this, but you could have multiple tests uh, if you want to do that. Then you could run, you say, your uh, interconnect test, test the board structure, run um, any number of uh, test suite script uh, uh, programs in your test suite. So we're going to uh, hold it right here. And uh, thank you for watching.